Collecting W-9s from vendors, freelancers, contractors, and sellers is one of the most time-consuming aspects of IRS compliance. The good news is that it's one of the many aspects of IRS compliance in which Avalara's paperless process makes a very big difference. It all begins when you add a company. You'll be prompted to add some essential information, such as the name, the company EIN, the street address, an email address, a phone number, and so on. You'll also need to choose whether or not you'd like Avalara to conduct TIN matching during the W-9 onboarding process. This is a handy feature that can cut down on a lot of time spent correcting errors down the road. Once the company's essential information is in the system, requesting a W-9 is as simple as entering a vendor's name and email address. You're not limited to just one W-9 at a time, and so I'm going to request a second one right now. As a matter of fact, you can request thousands at a time using a CSV template. And don't worry, if you need to collect W-4s or W-8s, the application supports those too. Let's click Send and take a look at our dashboard where we can see the status of our requests. They both say Requested. Meanwhile, what does the vendor experience? They receive an email, and I have an example of one open in a separate window. When they click on the call to action, they automatically get redirected to a page that's been personalized just for them. They should enter their information. Let's say they are the sole proprietor. And they have an address. And needless to say, they must have a social security number and an electronic signature. In this example, our TIN matching service did its job and caught an error before it had a chance to cause us problems. This means the vendor is prompted to go back and fix their error and resubmit. Now the W9 onboarding is a success. The vendor can download a PDF copy for their records. And meanwhile, we refresh our queue we can see confirmation that they have signed and submitted their W-9. It's now in the system where it will remain safe and secure. Finally, let's flash forward to January. Turning this W-9 into a 1099 is as simple as clicking the transfer button and selecting which kind of 1099 you want to generate. Then, you're all set to proceed with e-filing and recipient e-delivery ahead of the IRS deadlines. We've covered those topics in a separate demonstration. As always, let us know if you have any questions.